the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission wants former Kakamega Governor Wycliffe Oparanya to face corruption-related charges. Well, Oparanya is said to have allegedly received kickbacks from six companies that were awarded 60 contracts worth over 2.2 billion shillings. Investigations by EACC also established that the former governor irregularly received a benefit of 56.7 million shillings for renting his parcel of land to the county government of Kakamega in a clear case of conflict of interest. In its latest report, EACC also wants several officials from Taita Taveta County charged with misappropriation of public funds after they spent 7 million shillings for a trip to Zanzibar without following the proper guidelines. Savin Acheng Oma with the details. The fourth quarterly report of the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission that was published on Friday details how millions of public funds were gobbled up in suspected scams with various county officials under investigation. Top on that list is former Kakamega Governor Weekly for Paranya, who allegedly received kickbacks from six companies which were awarded 60 contracts worth more than 2.2 billion shillings, including AFBA Construction Company Limited, Western Cross Express Limited, Sabena International Limited, and Cecela Resources Limited. The report also details that the former governor leased his land to the county government and was paid over 56 million shillings in what ESEC terms as a clear case of conflict of interest. On 12th October 2023, ESCC recommended to the DPP that the former governor, his spouse, some county officials and some of the directors of the companies be charged with conspiracy to commit an offence of corruption, conflict of interest, abuse of office and money laundering. On 18th December 2023, the DPP returned the file and concurred with the Commission's recommendations for prosecution. The former governor has since obtained a stay order to stop his arrest until a petition he filed in court is determined. In Nairobi County, Mbakasi North Constituency Member of Parliament James Mwangi Gakuya is on the spot of allegations of awarding tenders worth 51,351,000 shillings to his children and close associates for the construction of classrooms, event hosting and roadworks. Investigations reveal that Gakuya received over 10,482,000 in form of kickbacks. ESCC wants him charged with conflict of interest, unlawful acquisition of public property and abuse of office. In Taita Taveta County, it is alleged that the speaker, Clark, 21 MCAs and four other officers spent about 7 million shillings on a bonding trip to Marijani Hotel in Zanzibar in November 2022 without following proper guidelines on public finance. Investigations revealed that some delegates were paid excess per diem allowances while others were paid, yet they had not travelled for various reasons. It was further established that the accounting officer during impress surrender attached false travel clearance letters for delegates who had not travelled for various personal reasons. On 14th December 2023, a report was compiled and forwarded to the DPP with recommendations to charge the clerk, Gediel Maganga, and Deputy Speaker Anselm Mwadime with abuse of office, uttering false documents, false accounting by a public officer, willful failure to comply with the law relating to procurement, as well as financial misconduct. On 1st February 2024, the DPP concurred with the Commission's recommendation for prosecution. ESCC also investigated allegations of misappropriation of public funds amounting to 45,610,187 shillings by Turkana County Assembly through tendering and construction of the Speaker's residence in Kanam Kemer Ward. Investigations reveal that eight companies submitted their bids for the tender, after which the tender was irregularly awarded to Ekuriagete Enterprises Limited. 
It has since been established that one of the directors of the said company is said to be an employee of the county government. The work done was valued at 19,494,994 as compared to payments made to the contractor amounting to 54 million 392,735, which means that there was an overpayment of 34,897,740. The case is still under further investigations. The report by ESCC Chairperson David Oginde and CEO Tualib Mbarak, dated 13th February 2024, shows that ESCC forwarded 27 files to the office of the DPP in the fourth quarter of last year covering investigations taken between October 1st to December 31st, 2023. ESCC reported that among the 27 files, 24 files were recommended for prosecution while there were recommendations for closure of three files. Of the 24 files on prosecution, seven were accepted. Three recommendations for closure were also accepted. 14 files returned by the DPP for further investigations, while three are awaiting the DPP's response. Safin Aching Oma, Citizen TV.